little Jewish lady that I met who was representing me, Nora Sanders, she called me at my karate studio about five o'clock in the afternoon and she said, um, Jim, they're casting a film out at Warner Brothers, it's a fight film. Now you won't get the part, but I want you to go out there and meet these producers. So I said, okay. She said, they already have the guy they want, but they're having a little problem negotiating contracts. So they're looking at other people, but they're going to take him eventually. I, but this is an opportunity for you to meet the producer. So I went out there and uh, it was Warner Brothers, Fred Weintraub, Paul Heller, who produced Enter the Dragon. And they said, uh, do you know karate? I said, yeah. So they said, well, show us a little moves. So I started jumping around, moving around, kicking all the place. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. So take the script, look at the part of Williams, and go out in the lobby, check it out, come back in five minutes and let us know what you think. So I, when I came back in, they said, uh, what do you think? I said, okay, it's pretty good. I, I like that part. And they said, well, you, do you know Bruce Lee? I said, no, I don't know him personally, but uh, I know of him. And uh, they said, uh, okay, you got the part. I said, oh, okay. Fred Weintraub, Paul Hiller said, okay, you got the part. Um, when can you leave for Hong Kong? So I said, I can leave now. They said, we got passports? I said, no, I don't have passports. I, you got to get a passport. So anyway, I uh, ended up in Hong Kong. I was in Hong Kong for uh, three months with, with Enter the Dragon. And um, that was an experience. Not only was Hong Kong an experience, but it was an incredible experience working with Bruce Lee. I, um, and in case all my fans out there who are who, listening to this documentary, I want to let you know I wasn't supposed to get killed in that movie. Originally, I was not supposed to get killed in that movie. John Saxon was supposed to get killed. And uh, at that time, that was my second film. And uh, John Saxon, I don't know, maybe had made something like, I don't know, 20 films for then. I don't really don't know. But anyway, his agent said, uh, look, if you want John for the for End of the Dragon, Jim has to get killed, not John. So of course, I, get, I have to get killed. Because uh, I, uh, I only had two films to my credit. So I ended up getting killed. and. Um, but it was all right. It was uh, End of the Dragon to me, though, was like um, I see good parts and bad parts of it. Uh, the good part was that it gave me a lot of exposure. It really gave me exposure all over the world. It opened up incredible doors for me as far as uh, my next move in the film business. Um, what I really didn't like about End of the Dragon was that I didn't really get a chance to do my thing because it was Bruce Lee's film, and I love Bruce Lee. As far as I'm concerned, he's the greatest martial artist to ever live. Uh, it was his film. So uh, I didn't get a chance to show the, all those people that saw that film my true talent, because it's like, shoot this, boom, 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 gone. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, let's go. Bruce, one fight film, take all day to fix. You set up, shoot it all day. Same fight film for me would be like, and, and, the tech, the fighting, I didn't get a chance to really show my technique. It was like very basic, so I didn't get a chance to really do what I wanted to do until I signed a three picture deal with Warner Brothers. But that's what I really didn't like about End of the Dragon, that I didn't really get a chance to really do my thing, really be me and fight the way I fight, you know. So, um, but it worked out because when I, one day I was driving to a location, Fred Weintraub said, Hey Jim, how you like the film business? I said, Oh, it's great, I like it. But just, let, just let me get back to Los Angeles. <laughs> Three months in Hong Kong is too long, you know, so anyway, finally got back to Los Angeles. When I got back to Los Angeles, my agent called me again, Nora Sanders, she said, Jim, we've got to go to Warner Brothers. I said, what, what's so important about going to Warner Brothers? We've got to go out there. I said, okay. She said, because they wanted to talk to you about something. I said, all right. And so you meet me, as a matter of fact, meet me right here where we're shooting this, this at this location. She was living at this location at the time. So it's, that's funny. So uh, she said, meet me at, uh, at my place. And um, I said, okay. The deal was that Warner Brothers wanted to talk to me about a three picture deal to star in three films for them, plus an option on a TV series. To me, it was like three picture deal. All right, maybe, maybe it's because I feel today, I don't, I don't take this business that serious. I don't, I don't take myself that serious because it's something, this business is something that's completely out of my control. You know, but anyway, even then I said, hey, uh, okay, well, let's go talk to Warner Brothers about a three-picture deal. Now, that had been some veteran actors, some actors that really, they've been in the business longer than me. They would, they probably, oh man, I got a three-picture deal. Oh man, you know, oh man, I see my house in Beverly Hills, see my Ferrari on the, to me, it's like, hey, okay, we got a three-picture deal. Let's go talk to them, you know? So that's the way I looked at it. So anyway, I ended up 
talking to the chairman of the board at Warner Brothers, uh, Ted Ashley at the time. Did a three-picture deal with Warner Brothers, signed a, a three-picture deal, option on TV series, and some merchandise and stuff. So I did that. Black Bell Jones, the first one. Golden Needles, the second one. Hot Potato, the third one. And um, Black Bell Jones was an uh, incredible experience. It was my first, actually my first film that I was a star. I'm the man, you know? Gl Gloria Hendry was in that, very beautiful lady. I enjoyed working with her, but the, it was me. The, the, everything, I was the man that had to make that thing work. And that was, and I, I, I didn't feel that much pressure, but I, it was an incredible experience for me. And that film made a lot of money. It made, uh, like I said before, it made a, a close to $20 million, around $20 million on, on a $400,000 budget. And then I did Golden Needles with Joe Don Baker, Elizabeth Ashley, and Burgess Meredith. That was a successful film. Then I did Hot Potato, by myself again. Uh, Oscar Williams wrote that script. We went to Thailand, we shot that in Thailand. Movie shot for 300,000 maybe. Made, made something like $2.5 million in New York in one week. Over $2 million. So now, here's a film made for 400,000, $2 million in New York alone. So I thought, like I said before, I thought the name of this game was for the star to make money. It, it, it's the box office. Yeah I, was, yeah, I was making money for these people, a lot, a lot of money for these people. And at this time, I wasn't getting any type of percentages, you know, it was just because I was new on the block. So then after that, I um, started doing films for other people. And I did some very good films with other people. I worked with Jim and Fred and how many films? Three the Hard Way, uh, Take a Hard Ride, One Down, Two to Go, and uh, did some other films. Uh, but uh, that's the way I got started in the movie industry, you know? That's the way I got started. Well, I'll tell you one thing, uh, going back to Enter the Dragon, um, one thing I missed about that, and I don't know what happened to Bruce Lee, uh, I've heard so many stories, so I really don't know. Uh, but I know one thing, before whatever happened, I uh, was supposed to do another film with him. Before I left Hong Kong, Bruce and I talked, and he said, look Jim, we're gonna do another film. Will you come back to Hong Kong with me and star in my next film with me? And that's, that's the way we left it. Next thing I knew, you know what happened. So uh, I, that would have been one hell of an experience to do a film with Bruce and be one of the stars in the film with him, you know. So uh, that didn't happen, but uh, who knows. So I, uh, I don't know. At least I had a chance to work with him, meet him, and learn a lot from him. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Into the Last Dragon. This is your boy Roy Robb. Coming back at you with another video. This one definitely highlights the brother, the master, the legend himself, Jim Kelly. Another influential person as far as my life and when it comes to martial arts. He was definitely one of those superstars in Enter the Dragon that uh, definitely like had that fist up. Like, hey, I am that brother. He's that dude. Rest in peace. Uh, just wanted to highlight his thoughts on Enter the Dragon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video. And uh, check us out. We got more videos coming soon. And I'm glad you're checking us out. And I'm glad you're joining the movement. Thanks and see you later.